Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 10 and I will show you some script referencing methods. We need script referencing to access variables and methods in another script or instance. For example, I have two cube objects in a scene. Both contain a script called light controller. I want both cubes to switch on and off. When one is on, the other one is off, and vice versa. The switch light method switches between on, off. A counter variable is used to add delays. We can simply define a variable of the type light controller. Notice we can use classes the same way as the fundamental data types. This way we can directly drag the other light controller instance into this field for referencing. What if I want an extra class called light manager? to control the lights. A light manager contains two light controller instances. The switch function switches the states of both light controller at once. How can we call this function in the light control script? We can use the reference field method above, or we can use another quick method. Since there is only one light manager in the scene, we can use something called a single ton. According to Wikipedia, the single ton pattern is a software design pattern that restricts the instantiation of a class to one single instance. To create a single ton, we can define a public static variable of the class type. The name totally depends on your preference, but we usually use the name instance or single ton. This field is static and can be directly referenced by all other scripts. There is one more step before it will work. That is to assign a reference. To do this, we usually add the line instance equals this to the awake method. This assigns the reference before all other initialization. Once the singleton is assigned, we can start using it. In our case, we can call the switch method of light manager directly in the light controller scripts by using the line lightmanager.instance.switch. Singletons are not invincible. Sometimes scripts may start referencing before the singleton instance is assigned. This causes the no reference exception. We can modify the script execution order in a project settings to get around this problem. This is basically how we reference scripts in Unity and C Sharp. This is episode 10 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.